How's it going everybody? Look what I got the other day. I had the SDMN5 and then I had the DDSM1 and I noticed uh, Field Feast made this guy here, the SDMN6 and I thought well it's a lot nicer to have everything in one unit instead of having two separate uh, meters to check everything. I like checking the pressure switches with the DDSM1 or setting a, when I replace one in the field I have those generic adjustable ones and that's what I like to use so saw this guy and I thought I gotta have it so you've got inside the package you've got the SDMN6 it's got the ports for the leads up here your uh, pressure testing in your manometer testing, your port one, port two, and this is your your little draft simulator. It's got adapters, tubing adapters for different sizes of tubing. Silicone tubing for like your uh, gas valves. Check your pressure on your gas valves when you're doing your using your backer rack or your testo to do your combustion analysis you got to know the pressure on your gas valve so it's good for that too two of these guys put them in the the airstream of your duct point the arrow towards the airstream tap onto it right there and you can get your your inches of water column on your airstream got the probe for the connecting to the pressure switch now on this one here, I noticed they didn't have that weird ass plug on there. They've just got the the larger size terminal. I guess they figured out that this will fit on the smaller ones for for uh, continuity. So they just opted just to go with that. Instructions. Of course, I know there's probably somebody out there that won't need them. And a nice carrying case. Got the front pocket here for your instructions or whatever you want to stick in there. Pretty nice size pocket for all the tubing and the meter itself. A little carrying handle. A little loop, you want to loop it through something. If you want to wear it on your belt, there you go. So I've got a pressure switch here and it is inch and a inch 1.15 inches water column. Now this goes off positive pressure so I'm assuming that I can test it with negative pressure and get the same results. We're gonna find out real quick. I tested another one the same way and it seemed to work properly. This one seemed to stick so he got replaced. He was on that lock and bar boiler that I had to work on last week. So let's get this guy set up. quite there we go all right and I also like this feature here the DDSM1 had the turn dial you had to turn real slow you know to dial it in this has just got the increase and decrease button I think that's pretty awesome so let's turn it on zero it out And it says after you zero it out in the instructions, you should do your testing within a minute. So this is a normally open. So find out this goofy thing's gonna work. Yeah, see I don't like that. pretty sloppy out of the box. There. 
Now for this you have to use the Y adapter. Which is right here. Got to hook one up to the P1 and the other one to the simulator. Let's see here. Get this guy hooked on. Now I'm hooking up one side, obviously the to the separate ports here. The high side is over here, so I want to hook him there, get him hooked up. Now let's turn the pump on. It's got a countdown. Hear the pump running. All right, I got that dude on there, and he's saying... Six inches water column. Now I'm going to decrease it. My red light is off, so it's not working. I'm going to make that dude go all the way down to zero, back up again. All right. Now we're going to increase it. Got the INC. Just holding it down. There, it's starting to pick up. And hit the hold button. They say the hold button, it'll tell you what it's at when it trips. Or way above what it should be. So I'm already, it's already condemned in my book. Switch to the other side. Now this this should be the low side. Unless I'm testing it wrong. But the high side. Now it might be. This is a positive pressure, so I may have to go to the low side to actually set it. Look at there. One point oh two. Let go of the hold, hits it two. Now let's decrease, see where it lets go at. Hit hold again. And it let go of 0.78, way off the the parameters. So this being a positive pressure unit, I'm assuming that you have to go on the low side to actually do a negative pressure test and uh, get the 1.15 on the negative side because that would make sense in the positive side pushing air in. You've got air on this side and this side positive pressure 
this side is usually about 0 0.20 so this side you would actually have to put it in uh, get the combustion fan running and it points down to the combustion chamber and it fills that with positive pressure so this side has to be 1.15 stronger than that side so in actuality this one would probably have to you'd have said like 0.135 but it, it went off at put it on hold again. It went off at one point oh five, which is really earlier than it should have been. Now I'm not pressing the button now, I'm letting it I just pressed it once, I'm gonna see how far it climbs. I don't want it to skyrocket. But I do like this instead of dialing it in. I like the convenience of the button. That is pretty nice. Look at that. See, it's all over the place. Now I clicked in at 0.89. Point seven eight clicked off. Point eight six kind of all over the place so it's definitely defective take that off turn the I'm gonna hit test turns off the pump all right guys that's my test run of my SDMN 6 by field piece now instead of having two different things in my truck got one item nice compact case it seems to work pretty good so I, I think it's I think it's pretty nice and it, it's uh, right now I think that this month our local Johnstone has actually got it on sale for 209 so it's not a bad price either you buy the other one separate you're gonna pay at least 350 so there is the SDMN6 field piece, and I hope this video has proven helpful. Bye.